What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're taking a look at the Rep Fitness Rapid Strike Massage Gun. All right, so Rep Fitness just launched their brand new percussive massager, the Rapid Strike Massage Gun. And when they first asked me to review this thing, I was pretty surprised. I had actually no clue that they were developing anything like this. But I mean, in hindsight, I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised because Rep kind of has their hands in just about everything or anything that pertains to fitness nowadays. Uh, so this is their take on a percussive massager and it has one really, really cool feature that you won't find on pretty much any other massage gun. And that is that it has the ability to change its power output on the fly. So depending on how hard you press on it or how hard you push into your body, the rapid strike massage gun will adjust and it will start going a little bit faster if you're pushing a little bit harder or if you're just kind of skimming the surface, it will just stay at its lightest setting. It has four settings in total. So you have the auto setting, which is the first setting, and then you've got a light setting, a medium setting, and then a harder setting. So as you could probably already tell, the Rapid Strike massage gun is very, very quiet. That's one of the huge pluses with this. It uses a brushless motor. And I think that this is probably one of the quietest massage guns that I've ever used. Uh, it's easy to talk over. Uh, it's not annoying when you have it around your neck or anything, you're trying to hit your back or your shoulders. Uh, it doesn't like buzz all up in your ear or anything. Uh, and I think that's one of the best features about this massage gun. Another really nice thing about this massage gun is the heft of it. The build quality of this massage gun is excellent. The handle is like a triangle shape and that is not, I don't think I've ever seen a massage gun that had a triangle shape handle, but it's really nice to hold. It has a matte finish to it. I think it only comes in this red color and then it's got these chrome accents on the top and bottom. Uh, the bottom is where you have your power button and then your USB-C charger. It does come with a USB-C charging cable in the package, but it does not come with a charger brick. So you're gonna have to use a just normal USB charger brick to charge up the Rapid Strike Massage Gun. Now, when I was charging this up, uh, I noticed that it was kind of picky on which USB chargers I would it uses. Uh, it did use this cable plugged into like a normal like five volt uh, USB power brick and that charged it up. I think it's like uh, two hours and you get like eight hours of performance, but that eight hours does definitely come with an asterisk because depending on how hard you press, um, the battery will decrease much faster. Uh, and I realistically, I think I only got like maybe an hour and a half out of this thing on a full charge with like actual pressure. Like I don't, I don't baby this at all. I, I go pretty hard when I use my massage guns. Um, I did try using a Samsung fast charger and it didn't charge at all. So that was kind of weird with the USB-C charging, but just use the cable that they give you and just like a normal iPhone power brick and you should be fine. It does come with a carrying case, which is awesome. And the carrying case is pretty compact. Uh, it's got this carbon fiber texturing to it. The handle is a little weird uh, because it's hard to zip it up and unzip it because it kind of gets in the way. The handle is like a little short. If the handle was a little bit longer, might be a little bit easier to kind of finagle around, but I just thought that that was a weird quirk with the carrying case. Uh, it does have some padding and some Trico on one side, and that's where I will put my charger cable. It does come with a little instruction manual. And then it has four different heads that it comes with. So the one that comes on it by default is the flat attachment. And the, that's the one that you're gonna use for large areas. You don't wanna put that much pressure down, but you wanna cover a good amount of area, like legs. I like to also use it on my pecs as well. And then it does come with a ball attachment, a quote unquote ball attachment. This is their version of it. And this has a soft touch rubber to it. And it's kind of like a half ball. And I actually like this more than the normal like foam ball attachments because I thought that those are kind of weird. When you use them on your skin and if your skin's dry, they like pick up like your dried skin and it looks really bad. So I do like this more rubberized attachment. And then you've got 
the fingertip or poker attachment and this one's for like acute pressure if you really wanted to dig into certain areas smaller areas that's the one that you would use for those and then same thing goes with the u attachment that has rubber tips this is the attachment that you would want to use like around your spine around bones so that you're not like pressing down on bones or anything but anyways the stall force and the stroke link are not included in the description of this massage gun so if i had to guess the stall force is anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds. It's actually pretty high. Uh, it's really hard to stop this thing. The only way that I, in use, have been able to stop it is if I really clamp down on it with my other hand. But if I'm like actually just pressing down, I can't actually stop it. I mean, I probably could if I really, really wanted to, uh, but it takes quite a bit of pressure. I really just have to like be trying to stop it. Uh, and the stroke length, when I measured was only six millimeters. Uh, and that is probably the most disappointing thing about this massage gun is that six millimeters is just, it's too small. It feels like when you're using this and you're not putting pressure down, it's barely doing anything. Like it's like just kind of vibrating on your skin. Um, so in order to get anything out of this massage gun, you really have to push down hard and even then, I feel like it just takes a little bit too much work compared to some of the other massage guns that have like 10 millimeters or even up to like 16 millimeters nowadays. Like the Theragun, you kind of just have to hold it there and it just does all the work for you. Same with the Hypervolt Plus. Uh, you don't really have to do too much. You don't have to put too much pressure down. Even the OEs like that have like 11, 12, 13 millimeters, you don't really have to do too much. You just turn it on and you just kind of go. With the Rep Fitness, you actually have to put pressure down in order to, for me personally, in order for me to get anything out of this thing. Uh, if I just kind of hold it there, it just doesn't really do anything. I guess you can change the attachments, but either way, the fingertip attachment still doesn't really do all that much, um, which is a shame because I think everything else about this massage gun is really good. Like it's quiet. Uh, it is ergonomically really nice to hold. The build quality is excellent. The stall force is really good, but the stroke length is just like, it's like next to nothing. And it kind of just feels like it's vibrating on your skin. Um, but if you're in the market for a percussive massager and you wanted something that was small and compact, and that also is not that expensive because this thing's only $140. I think it's only like $15 for shipping. Um, so it's still a relatively inexpensive percussive massager. It's built well. It's from a reputable company. So there's a lot of things that are good about it. And if you're not looking to go too hard on yourself, I think it's still a pretty good option. But if you're looking for something that has a lot of power, doesn't take that much to get a good massage out of, then I think this is probably not the one. And going forward, I think if they were to make a second version or just like update this version, they need to have at least a 10 millimeter stroke length. I think that's just kind of like the standard nowadays. And I think that if that were to happen, this would be probably one of the top percussive massagers. But as it is right now with the stroke length that it has, it's just okay. So if you guys have any other questions about the Rep Fitness Rapid Strike Percussive Massager, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.